And new today at 5, an alleged assault is ending football season early for one Metro Detroit high school. Right now, two separate inv investigations are underway. Ann Arbor police and Ann Arbor schools are trying to get to the bottom of an alleged assault on a 15-year-old student and a football player at Huron High School. As 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaykhet tells us, we're learning more about the case and the video evidence from the locker room. How frequent this practice is. This is something that happens on a regular basis every year. As a Huron High School parent, Kahari Brown is asking questions about an alleged assault involving several members of the Huron High JV football team. Police say the school contacted them 10 days ago to look into an October 3rd situation involving 14 members, all 15, and an alleged victim, also 15. Was he aware that this is something that happens when you're on the JV team? Is it something where kids don't necessarily realize how serious it is till the police are involved? Oh yeah, the police are involved, then definitely. We've learned the alleged teenage victim was videotaped on a cell phone being shoved down to the floor and wrapped in netting, then his cell phone tossed aside and broken. So far, the school district has declined to talk about the incident on camera since canceling a game and bringing the season to an early end. They've also issued a statement addressing the situation to parents. In part of a statement, the district's superintendent says appropriate disciplinary steps were taken to ensure safety for students. A game against Lincoln was also canceled. And by email to parents, the coach adding several players were suspended. We've since asked Ann Arbor police where their case stands and what cell phone video of the incident shows. Short video that contains most of the incident involving uh, one of the football players who was pushed down. Uh, and wrapped in some netting. Uh, during the event, his phone was broken as well. We would investigate the same as we would for adults, and then it's submitted to the Washtenaw County Prosecutor's Office. I'd be upset. Yeah, yeah I'd be upset. Yeah, sure. I'd definitely be upset. Police add a possible motive is still under investigation, and they will examine if this incident included any possible elements of a hate crime. So far, no word on how soon findings could be turned over to the prosecutor. In the meantime, the district says they are working to ensure a culture of dignity at the school. From Ann Arbor, Simon Shaykhet, 7 Action News.